I got a feeling, nigga, really, that my money be the root. Look up at the stars, she like, honey, where the roof? Pull up in the dog's canaries. All right, so I mean, in the beginning part of your career, you seemed like really, you know, um, you got along with everyone. It wasn't any, like, problems or beef or anything like that. And then later on, it's like all these different, you know, jabs coming at you from all these different directions. I mean, what do you think that that came from? The, just the whole people... I'm in their money bracket now. When I was broke, I was in a threat. Now I got enough money to have a hundred niggas at your mama house. And now my music is, is, is spread it to the point where, you know, it's global now. We in Germany. We in London. We just performed what Michael Jackson was finna do the This Is It concert. And there was capacity. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I just rose up to a whole nother bracket. And at the same time, it ain't love all the time. So you got to iron out a few females. I call them females. You iron them out and then everybody else pretty much know the vibe. And everybody else, you know, we getting along with. You can see it by the features that's on the album. Everybody that's on the project did it out of love. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So I think that's what's important. So do you think that that whole situation had any effect on your career? Like, I'm not even going to say the of person's course. name, but yeah. what, what do you think? What kind of effect do you think that had on I, what you uh, I made more money, you know what I mean? After you crush such a, a huge donkey, you know, you got to reap the benefits of going to war. You know what I'm saying? It's just like when David beat Goliath, I'm pretty sure when he went back, he went back to town, the ladies had bread and wine, and he fornicated, and it was just the best in life. <laughs> so you feel that you won that battle, definitely. I'm the only one put out a number one album, and we in this business to put out records and put up numbers and generate funds, and as you can see, I'm putting out another number one album when they haven't put out one. So, I did it's elementary to me, you understand? And I think they learned their lesson, you understand? They they know to keep going. Nobody, you know? Mm -hmm. R.I.P. <laughs> Hold on, let's, let's, let's have a moment of silence. It's only right. Let's bow our heads at least for Lloyd Banks. Uh, <laughs> amen. amen, man. I pray my career don't be like Lloyd Banks. It's like, it's just like dealing with, you know, one of your women and, you know, she might have heard you say something over the phone that bothered her and she waited three months to bring it back up to you. So, you know, she said some things to get my attention and she got it. <laughs> I done straightened her out. You know what I'm talking about? And now she's back humble. And that's what I like. I love when a woman stays in a woman's place. And, you know, she's changed her attitude. Yeah, Mrs. Mayweather. Not the mama. But, you know. And that's it. We moving on. All right, cool.